Hello, friends. If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by again. If this is your first time here, then welcome. Today I'm going to be making for you a childhood favorite of mine called pork and peas. This is a Filipino dish of pork stewed in a savory sauce of tomatoes, garlic, and onions with peas and jarred pimento peppers. You can easily substitute roasted red peppers in a jar for the pimento peppers. However, today I'm going to be substituting fresh julienne red bell pepper and a sliced pasilla pepper for the jarred pimento peppers. The red bell pepper will give a similar flavor to the pimento, but I prefer the fresher taste of the bell pepper. The pasilla pepper is not traditional, but I enjoy the complexity that it gives the stew. The ingredients that you'll need for this dish are two and a half pounds of pork shoulder cut into chunks, one red bell pepper seeded and stemmed, cut into medium thick slices, one green pasilla pepper seeded and stemmed, cut into medium slices, one medium yellow onion cut into medium slices, three to six cloves of garlic roughly chopped, and two bay leaves. The pork can be cut into large chunks or small chunks. It's totally up to your preference. Likewise, the vegetables can be cut in slices, cut into chunks, or just diced. I just like the way the slices look in the final product, so that's why I went with slices. The other ingredients that you'll need are one tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of fish sauce, two cans, eight ounces each, of tomato sauce, or one 16-ounce can, and salt and pepper to taste. One word about the fish sauce and soy sauce. They really don't give any distinct taste to this dish, but both the fish sauce and the soy sauce add a wonderful complexity and savoriness to the tomato sauce, so don't be tempted to leave them out. I promise you will not taste either one in the finished product. Let's begin cooking. Heat a large heavy bottomed pot over medium high heat. Add a tablespoon or two of vegetable oil and stir fry your pasilla pepper until they're slightly charred around the edges and al dente. This will take about two minutes, but no more than three minutes. Once the pepper is finished, remove it from the pot and set it aside while you stir fry the red pepper and then the onion. You don't want to cook the peppers or the onions completely at this point. Once you've finished stir frying the peppers and onions, you'll want to brown the pork. Unless you have an extremely large pot, you'll need to brown the pork in two or maybe even three batches. I forgot to mention that I salted the meat when I cut it and allowed the salt and pepper to marinate with the meat for about an hour before I cooked it. Place the meat in a single layer in the bottom of your pot and let it saute for two to three minutes on the top and the bottom. Browning the meat will give your finished dish a meaty richness that helps to elevate this simple dish. Once your first batch of meat has been browned, remove it from the pot. Repeat this process until all your meat has been browned. Once the last batch of meat has been browned, return all the browned meat to the pot along with any of the meat juices that have settled to the bottom of the plate. Continue the cooking over medium-high heat. If there is a lot of moisture in the pot, turn your fire up to high and cook the meat until the excess moisture is gone and the pan is dry and the meat begins to fry. Sprinkle your one tablespoon of soy sauce and your two tablespoons of fish sauce over the meat and stir well. Use the moisture from the soy sauce and the fish sauce to deglaze any of the caramelized meat juices that is stuck to the bottom of the pot. Stir thoroughly to coat your meat in the soy sauce and fish sauce. Once the moisture from the soy sauce and the fish sauce has evaporated, you can add the tomato sauce and about two cups of water. The level of liquid should just cover the meat. Bring everything to a boil and reduce the heat to a medium simmer. Check the sauce for salt and pepper and allow the meat to cook in the tomato sauce for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending upon the size of the meat chunks and the tenderness of the meat you're using. Oh, and don't forget to add your bay leaves. When the meat is tender, add your onions and peppers to the pot 
and make sure to stir everything well. Cover the pot and simmer on low for another 15 minutes to allow all the flavors to blend. After 15 minutes, uncover the pot and add your peas, either fresh or frozen, and stir everything together and let it simmer for about five minutes. After five minutes, it's ready to serve. This dish is quick enough for a weeknight dinner and easy enough that you can double or triple the recipe and easily feed a large hungry crowd. Any leftovers will taste even better the next day and it can easily be frozen for longer storage. All you need to make this a complete meal is to serve this with fresh steamed white rice. succulent juicy pieces of pork with onions and peppers in a savory rich tomato sauce and those gorgeous green peas it's a thing of beauty If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Also give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I really love hearing from all of you. Thank you for joining me today on Adventures in Food with Howard. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.